And now we continue with the trios tournament for our semifinals. And the Woodsmen are here, of course, off of that win back at Luigi Sunday over D Smooth and the family. Palm Roma leading the charge here for the Woodsmen as they hope to clinch their spot in the finals of the Trios Tag Team Tournament to crown our very first Trios champs in GCW. But they got a tall task ahead of them. And the masked men. Of course, the masked men defeating the money men back earlier in 2023. That was their last match here in GCW. And also donning the masks once again. Our Cameron, Griffin, and Sheffy. Now to be able to tell the difference here, of course, this is Cameron front and center. Has been the leader of the masked men for the last two or three years. On the right, you see Sheffy. And on the left is, of course, Griffin. And now they look to move on in this tournament, this semifinals matchup. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the action here. I said in the last match, I was not sure if I would be back to do commentary for the next few matches, but we are here. We're gonna churn out as much content on this day off as we can. Um, I just cleaned up a puddle of Ruckus's poo, so that was pretty fun. Uh, sometimes she doesn't know where her litter box is, and we just introduced, of course, we have a, for those that don't know, we are fostering to adopt a, a new cat named Nestor. Um, they've been getting along just fine, but we're finally uh, giving him access to the rest of the house, so that meant moving his litter box where Ruckus's litter box is. And we're trying to see if they'll use the same litter because Ruckus is really picky about her litter. Oh, and there goes Palm Roma clotheslining. Someone to the outside over the top rope to Sheffy. We're trying to get him to use the same litter though. Ruckus uses regular old litter. Pellets uh, are for Nestor, I mean Nestor We'll use anything. He's been using Ruckus's litter, so that's why we're like, why are we got why do we got them using two separate litter types of litter? Well what the fuck do I know? Palm Roma, nice DDT there. Rich Mahogany now and Sheffy mixing it up. And like we saw in the last match with Inner Love and the Elite, a lot of things quickly change in these matches. You know, two on one situations can become three on one. Odds can shift very quickly in the other team's favor. Nice elbow off the top rope there by Palm Roma. And of course, pinfall and submission are only gonna be happening inside of the ring. 
We are building towards February 4th, which is the return of Heartbreak Warfare, Sunday at 6.30 Eastern. You're not going to want to miss it on twitch.tv slash Mr. Galeer. And the masked men, of course, like I mentioned, they've been out of action for quite some time, almost a year to the day. Uh, and this is a team that, you know, to some degree has succeeded on a, on a championship level. Um, you know, Sheffy and Griffin, of course, capturing the, the Twitch tag team titles uh, back in 2022. Cameron, more of a single star for sure, but with the trios championships becoming part of the fold here, there's a lot more opportunity for some of these uh, factions and teams. And Otis Oakland just getting on Sheffy's nerves. Everyone's over here in the corner near the announce table. But uh, likewise, the same could also go for the Woodsmen, you know, who have also won their fair share of tag team gold. Otis Oakland and Rich Mahogany specifically. So I think this just creates a lot of opportunity for, for all the uh, teams here and all the talent here in Galeer Championship Wrestling. But for the masked men, this match will be about beating their opponent senseless. They're known for that, that ruthless style of beating anybody up in their way. I guess a good way to tell them apart, too, if you're having trouble following along here. Cameron is the big one. Cameron's the bigger guy. Griffin's got two full sleeves of tattoos, and then Sheffy's uh, got no tattoos, and he's the shortest. Nice drop kick there by Rich Mahogany. Cameron rolls out. Coming up on this little uh, installment of GCW. We're going to see Shadow D Milk in action later. As well as after this, we're also going to see the women's champion, Mrs. Smith Esquire, going up against her challenger for. February 4th, the man, Becky Lynch. And um, no title on the line there, of course. Almost just a preview of things to come. Sheffy. Nope, Sheffy was going to go for something. He changed his mind. We've also got our world champion, the commissioner, John K. Rasselman, uh, going up against Steve Macklin in the main event. Definitely something you're not going to want to miss on this very special installment of GCW. And there's a bit of a control split here. Got one team picking on the other team's one guy and then same thing on the other side. Two on one situations. Now they're, they're switching it up. They don't got <laughs> they don't necessarily have a lot of room to run around here. And of course, with these types of matches, it's so hard to follow one specific set of action. They're all giving it everything. Sheffy waiting here in the ring. Brain Buster by Griffin. And at some point, these guys are going to have to take this into the ring so we can have a definitive winner here. Otis Oakland's got Cameron dropping him on the knee. Now Rich Mahogany taking it to Griffin and Sheffy taking it to Palm Roma. Again, it's, it's, it's very imbalanced on both sides. I would say that the Woodsmen probably have more of the size advantage. They're all much bigger dudes. Uh, but I think on the other end of things, there's a guy in the way there, good camera work. 
on the other end of things, the masked men just know how to... They, they know damage control. They know all about how to take the trash out when they need to. Hell, before Cameron even started the masked men, he was picking on me. That was a, a wonderful time. Of course, a much bigger plot twist when I found out he had hired my two brothers, Griffin and Sheffy. Something a lot of people might not know. Look at that, the Impaler DDT in the center of the ring from Cameron. And it's broken up by Otis Oakland. And now our action's starting to get back into the ring here. Look at Otis setting up for the suplex. Oh, and the jackhammer. Beautiful maneuver there. Palm Roma guarding the ring. Cameron kicks out, though. Nice half and half suplex there by Palm Roma. Otis Oakland goes for that knee. Palm Roma covering. Sheffy kicks out. Now Roma with the crucifix power bomb. And Sheffy with the Kamehameha to Rich Mahogany. Broken up by Oakland. Ladies and gentlemen, I think also this is uh, very much a formula that I want to continue as these shows go on. You know, we're doing the less frequent pay-per-views every few months. I like this sort of contender show to like set up for these matches. Um, but just to keep things interesting, I, I might have mentioned this, but I continue to uh, simulate quote-unquote matches. Uh, I'm not actually simulating the matches themselves, just sort of simulating a random number generator that picks a winner out of two people. Uh, just to continue sort of uh, keeping those win-loss records uh, consistent. Oh, and a nice gut tombstone gut buster. Broken up. Hi, Otis Oakland. Um, so, on the months that we're not here, we're still very much uh, keeping matches happening. Uh, we, we call them the, the house shows or the dark matches. We're, we're keeping everything. We're keeping things moving. We're keeping our talent employed and, and getting around, going to shows. Um, it was something that was really hard for me to pitch to Rasselman, of course. Him and I aren't on speaking terms now. But that is neither here nor there. Uh, it was something that we agreed on a while back. And it is in full effect. So we have uh, win loss, wins and losses continually updating. And now Sheffy with a nice tackle. Sending Rich Mahogany to the outside. Going for Palm Roma now. Again, very clear size advantage. Sends Roma into the corner. Stiff punches. It's Cameron's turn. Oh, and Sheffy runs right into a knee. Cameron saw that one. Oh. Not quite enough. Goes for the cover on Sheffy. Kick out at two. And meanwhile, we got the elevated triangle choke on Otis. No one's there to break it up. But I don't think Otis is going to fold just yet. Yeah, he's getting out of it. Bodies are flying everywhere, folks. Nice backbreaker there. Two pins just happen at the same time. Palm Roma trying to break up both of them. Griffin with a deep six now. That's it. I think they might have owned this match from the get-go. In the early beginnings of this match, Cameron with that first uh, real fall in the ring, we had the tombstone gut buster broken up by Otis. Choke slam throws, fireball punches. We had that elevated 
triangle choke. And then in the back there, you saw Griffin with the deep six. So Griffin picking up the W. These guys are going to the finals. Ruckus, I don't want to talk to you. You peed on the floor. <laughs>